first impression of graffiti was local kids around the neighborhood doing the cholo tags, blockbuster gang tags. And I remember that when I was probably about five, five or six. That was pretty much the first, my first exposure to seeing somebody that had written on something and I knew they weren't supposed to, but I thought it was awesome. I'd watch TV shows and I'd see little glimpses of graffiti in the background and I'd always just, I was just drawn to it instantly. Like, what is that? So I always was fascinated by seeing any kind of paint anywhere. And then back then too, there were a lot of like stoner tags, like ACDC and Led Zeppelin and all that kind of shit. And I just instantly was gravitated towards anything that was written on the wall. Always try and read it and figure out what it was. I try and stay focused on my own program. You know, I'm influenced by everything I see. I like bus hopper tags. I like Frisco One Flow tags. You know, I love that shit. A lot of Brazil tags I look at quite a bit. Philly, definitely Philly. I have no game on Philly at all whatsoever. I don't even try and do them, but I really, really like to look at them. You know, like the fact that people are writing is my influence. I try and focus on my own program to try and get wherever the fuck I'm trying to go with it. It's like a never-ending math equation. I'm trying to get somewhere, I'm trying to have this feel to it or this look, and I almost get it, and then fuck, I, you know, this letter overlaps the other one, or that initial stroke fucking covers the other part, and I gotta do it again, and again, and again, and again, you know. I have this weird vision in my mind of what it's supposed to look like, and I'm never coming close to what that is, but I try. You know, in my mind it looks really good, and then what comes out is 40% of that. <laughs> Everybody bites as a kid, and then once you're a teenager, it ain't cool to bite anymore, and if you keep biting, you get knock in your mouth. And then if you keep biting again, you're gonna get your hands broken. <laughs> to be original, you just have to be true to yourself, regardless of what that may be. Just following your true path as close as you possibly can, without too many outside influences and just going with what you what you feel. Everybody knows the original recipe. You know the main ingredients are what they are and you can't fake the funk. <laughs>